Generally speaking, zooming out, how is everything going for you so far, Team USA? Uh, everything's going great. It's been a great camp so far, learning, getting better every single day, getting the chemistry and camaraderie with these guys. So, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a great experience. You've been putting a lot of work in over the summer. Have you started to feel like you've shown that in this point? Have you been able to keep that development going? Yeah, for sure, a little bit. Um, you know, being able to show what I got offensively and um, improvements on my body and showing what type of shape I'm in, getting up and down the floor, just little things like that. So, I'm sure Dan asked the great questions, but my cameras weren't rolling, so I'm going to kind of ask it again. What, what are things you're trying to show to, to, to make this team? Uh, defense rebounding, uh, two biggest things. Uh, got a deep team. When you play with a team, all-star team like this with stars, you know, you kind of everybody has to have a certain type of role. And uh, you know, that's one role that I've been you know, showing really well at since I've been here. So We talk a lot about your story and where you're from. What's it like putting on that USA jersey and being out here with all these stars? It's unreal. It's a great experience for me, especially where I come from and my journey as a basketball player, never really being um, in these type of select teams as a kid and highly recruited. But this is my first opportunity with USA basketball, and uh, I'm just trying to make the most out of it. Checking in with Mama Coos every night, telling her how it's going. Uh, yeah, she's she's blowing me up every night after practice. I always have a text from her, so yeah. What do you think about like heading into this season, the Lakers season? How much uh, confidence can this give you being a part of this? Um, super, no, super. I mean, obviously it's different, it's different rules and whatnot, but you know, it's an opportunity to work on my game. Like I said, uh, defense and rebounding. That's one thing that. This team kind of needs, and you know, it's one of the roles that I could I could provide, and that's going to help me during my season. And, you know, they always say that playing USA basketball, um, guys have career years, and they they improve uh, the following season. So that's what I'm trying to do. Over the years, we've seen so many people bond in these experiences through the past. Uh, yeah. Do you feel like that's happening here with you, certain guys? For sure, some guys that I've I've already known, uh, you know, Donovan and Jalen Brown, JT, uh, Tatum. So. You know, obviously, I know a lot of these guys being in my rookie class, and uh, you know, Brooke, Big Brooke. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, not. Playing, but <laughs> yeah, so just about everybody. Yeah. Kyle, in your time as a pro and stuff like that, it's, you, you've always been a really aggressive player and, and stuff like that. Is trying to find roles and doing things not scoring right? Has that been a process for you? And, and kind of where are you at along? learning how to do that? No, not at all. Just because, like I said before, playing with a, a team of stars, it's actually fun. You know, it's super fun playing the right way. You know, you want to make that extra pass. You want to, you know, cheer on your team and you want to play defense at a certain type of level just because of, you know, the USA standard. So, um, you know, it, it's a blast for me, for sure. Anything in particular fun about being teammates with Brooks again, seeing, seeing around the gym? Brooks, my guy. You know, he's one of the guys that when I was a rookie, I, I always looked at. He's been one of the best bigs in the league uh, when he was in Brooklyn and uh, learning from him. You know, he's an all-star and, um, you know, he's been great when I was a rookie and keeping in touch and, you know, having a chance to come back and play with him right now is special. Is there something you learned from him specifically when you were a rookie? Is there some, some way he kind of reached out to you? Just little things. The biggest thing is how to be a pro. You know, every, every, every game, you know, games would finish late and he'd be the first one in the gym, 8.30 on the court every single day with one of our assistant coaches. And um, I always thought I was, you know, would try to be one of the first guys to come in at the gym, but you know, he would be one of the guys that are always on the court first. And um, you know, that's something that really stood out to me um, when I was a, a rookie. And, um, you know, it's translated within my career too. Kuz, you had some good moments and limited minutes in the scrimmage we saw on TV. Have you been playing with that second unit a lot or has it been fluctuating lineup wise? No, it's just been fluctuating. Everybody's had different type of stints. Um, you know, there hasn't necessarily been a start in five or anything. It's just kind of, you know, filled in the team, understanding the chemistry, what guys work, what lineups work, what guys play well together. So, uh, you know, that's kind of where it's been right now. How's your thinking evolved from the moment that they called you into the team in recent games with certain guys dropping out? Just your thoughts about making the team and making an impact getting in the rotation? It's big time for me. Obviously, I can get all the basketball I can get. For me, I'm a young player still, so you know, I'm not a vet, and I kind of need basketball experience to you know, help me in the long run, especially for this upcoming season. So, Having gone to China earlier this summer, what did it mean to go back there with, in front of those fans with this team? Uh, it's big time. Obviously, you know, I play for the Lakers, and um, the, the Chinese presence, Asian, Asia presence that we have alone is you know, pretty fun to be over there. But to go over there with USA, you know, like I said, it's a dream come true. So. What kind of uh, tweaks have you made to your jump shot this summer? 
Um, you know, just simple things. Just trying to get a higher release and, um, you know, learn how to use my index finger just a little bit. Um, Have you guys been working on an, a style of play, like being over, playing fast, being athletic, kind of overwhelming teams, or, or, or have you talked about that kind of stuff yet? Yeah, we just we just want to be, you know, one of the, the most elite defensive teams, you know, in the world. You know, we have that capability. We got a lot of guys that can switch one through five, guys that can get up in you uh, defensively and, um, you know, pressure the ball. So, you know, that's kind of what our identity is. And you talked about, I mean, the physicality ramps up in the yeah. too. Have they dealt with that in practice and stuff? Or? Yeah, a little bit. You know, having having referees around, you know, officiating like they're going to officiate over there. So um, that's definitely helped. You know, a big emphasis is not using our hand, uh, your hands, you know, especially in the FIBA game. It's a it's a no no. So that's one thing that we're trying to adjust to and learn. So Kyle, uh, Serbia's head coach looked ahead to the tournament and said, "If we meet the U.S., may God help them." Mm -hmm. So I've seen some confident talk coming out uh, of the, their camp. How do you view Serbia as a, as a you know potential? competition in the tournament and how do you guys view your chances versus the rest of the field? Um, Serbia is an incredible team. Uh, they got a lot of pros on their team, starting with Jokic and you know the guys that they have, they're a great team, played you know together for a long time and you know they're super confident. Um, but you know there's a lot of great teams in uh, this in the world, a lot of great players that play for each of those teams and it's gonna be a challenge for us. So. Because I know you've been asked some about just playing with LeBron and AD and how this your structure here as a teammate was. What have you learned, uh, if anything, about your game? Or, or maybe a better way to ask the question is just what are you focusing most on as you approach the Lakers season with this USA experience? Just being able to hit open shots. You know, obviously, LeBron and AD, they're going to have a lot of attention. Uh, a lot of the, the defense is going to be geared on those guys. So um, you know, just being able to you know, do what I've been doing, nothing, nothing different, you know, hit shots. Being a great cutter and um, you know running the floor and you know, being a good teammate. So.